Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Brews or Brian, a craft beer review podcast. Craft beer is beer that is brewed in smaller breweries, not these big corporate machine breweries that we're all aware of. Craft beer takes time and patience. The people that brew this stuff care about the product they're delivering to us, the consumer, and I couldn't be more thankful. On today's episode, I'm reviewing KBS Espresso from Founders Brewing Company, Bourbon Barrel Aged Like a Stout from Straight to Ale, and The Swamper from Singing River Brewing Company. Of course, you can check the show out on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, YouTube, and Spotify. So don't forget to tell your friends and anybody else that likes to drink craft beer to listen to the show, uh, like, and comment where needed. But let's kick this show off. And first up on today's show, we have KBS Espresso. Of course, KBS stands for Kentucky Breakfast Stout. It's from Founders Brewing Company out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. And KBS Espresso has an ABV of 12%, and it's a one-off. So you better get this thing while it's out, because it's not coming back. The description from the website says, KBS gets its coffee fix in the very first variant to come from our beloved bourbon barrel-aged stout. Yes, KBS may already be brewed with coffee, but it gets some extra oomph when it's added on espresso beans. After being removed from barrels, the result is a fresh and snappy coffee twist on our classic barrel-aged beer. Who says you can't start your day with a barrel-aged stout? This beer pours absolutely black as night with nearly four fingers of light mocha head that builds up like a dusty cloud and holds its place for ages before eventually settling down to a film with a massive collar and very tenacious lacing. And the only aroma, I can only think of two words, coffee bomb. They took espresso and aged it in the bourbon barrels and then finished it on a stout beer. Deep, full, roasty coffee with tons of nutty impressions, uh, pecans, hazelnut, chocolate syrup, Bourbon barrel, booze, vanilla, brown sugar, caramel, toffee, molasses, and tons of fresh ground coffee. And this has just got an amazing aroma. Tasting the beer, uh, you get a lot of roasty coffee first uh, with restrained sweetness. It's certainly sweet and malty, but it's a mere sliver of sweetness that CBS has. And from my memory, uh, the regular KBS was also a bit sweeter. Big dark malt sets the foundation immediately with some blackened roast quality. Coffee roast, baker's chocolate, and uh, barrel char play supporting roles as well, setting the overall tone for this beer. Past the whole bombardment of all things dark, there are lighter notes of molasses, burnt toffee, brown sugar, sweetened dark chocolate, and vanilla uh, to add nuance and gradient layers. After this, we swallow, and the first thing to surface is a beautiful, sweet, oaky bourbon presence. At this point, we're essentially into the finish, where a bunch of vanilla shows up, as well as toasted oak and caramel, before things take a turn back in the direction of roasting. Uh, bitter cacao, fresh dark espresso, roast coffee grounds, black and charred malt, and barrel char all serve to establish a big, bold, roasty, Charry dark finish with multiple sources of bitterness. Coffee and blackened malt lingers on and on. The spirit is certainly full bodied and rich with a typical barrel aged stout slickness to it, but it's far from fudgy or viscous. It doesn't put up a fight like most high ABV, ABV barrel aged dark beers. If you chew it a bit, it does get slightly thick, but it's mostly due to the fine effervescence, which is low, naturally, but somewhat lively for the style. It's wet up front, wet in the middle, and semi-dry in the finish, with drying roast qualities. Some ABV heat in the swallow and throughout the palate. KBS Espresso is everything you expect it to be. It very much mirrors its namesake base beer but it's just stuffed to the brim with fresh, roasted coffee. I normally prefer sweeter, thicker, fudgy barrel-aged ales, 
but I find that the coffee actually increases the overall drinkability of this one. And in this particular case, I also think that increased drinkability works in its favor. It is still one to sit down with and just sip, but the fact that it doesn't fight back in any ways uh, makes the whole sipping experience that much uh, more enjoyable. And Founders is one of my favorite breweries. Uh, I've preached on that this whole podcast series. Uh, so if you can find it, you got to try them. Anything they make, it's, it's killer, all of it. But overall, I'm going to give KBS Espresso from Founders Brewing Company five stars. Next up on the show, we have Bourbon Barrel Aged Laika Stout from Straight to Ale out of Huntsville, Alabama. Bourbon Barrel Aged Laika Stout has an ABV of 11.7% and a fall time availability. The description from the website says dark, rich, and robust, pours as black as our hearts with notes of chocolate, coffee, and slightly boozy on the finish. This beer pours a jet black color with a one finger creamy khaki head. That reduces to a ring around the edge of the glass. Aromas of roasted malt give some charred notes up front, as well as dark chocolate, caramel, tobacco, and black licorice. Plenty of oaky bourbon undertones that adds a vanilla and toffee element. Now, tasting this beer, you get dark chocolate, caramel, and roast up front, with notes of nutty fudge, molasses, brown sugar, tobacco, and fig. Mid-palate starts to bring out the barrel and continues into the finish, adding notes of oak, vanilla, and toffee uh, that lingers on. This beer has a medium body with moderate carbonation that leads to a foamy mouthfeel that continues into a slightly warming finish where you can get the alcohol uh, because it's an 11% ABV, so you're definitely going to get some uh, alcohol burn. Overall, this is an amazing beer. Uh, the barrel is perfectly balanced with the base beer. Uh, the base beer is just the regular like a stout from Straight to Ale, and it's also fantastic. Anything Straight to Ale does that I've had has just been fantastic. It's one of the breweries that is closest to me where I live in North, North Alabama. So if you live in North Alabama or if you can get anything from Straight to Ale, uh, definitely check them out. You will not be disappointed. But overall, I'm going to give Bourbon Barrel Aged Like a Stout from Straight to Ale four stars. And our final beer on this week's show is the Swamper from Singin River Brewing Company out of Florence, Alabama. The Swamper has an ABV of 6% and a year-round availability. The description from the website says a pleasantly bittersweet black ale with a fresh roast coffee-like flavor and aroma and a rich malty body. A great choice for lovers of porters, stouts, and other black beers. This beer pours a very dark brownish black color with one finger of light tan head that settles quickly to a thin ring around the edge. The aroma is uh, fairly light with roasted malts and chocolate and vanilla. Tasting this beer is just rich dark chocolate mixed with vanilla and roasted malts as you would expect, you know, a darker beer to be. Uh, it's, it's full bodied with a creamy texture. Overall, this thing is, it's full flavored. It's a solid porter. I wish the aroma was a little bit more pronounced, but otherwise, nicely done. And again, this is from Sangin River Brewing out of Florence, Alabama. This is the closest brewery to where I live, and I visit it as often as I can. 
Uh, if you live anywhere close to it, you got to check it out. Wonderful people, wonderful bartenders, very knowledgeable. They'll tell you everything they know about every beer they've got. And they've always got something new that they're trying just in-house, maybe not something they sell in cans and stuff. But it's it's probably my favorite brewery uh, to, to go to, and I've, I've been to a few, and this one is the best. But overall, I'm going to give the Swamper from Singing River Brewing Company four stars. And that is going to do it for this week's episode of Brews with Brian. I want to thank everybody for listening. The show is continuing to grow each and every week. We either add a new state in the U.S. or a new country around the world, uh, usually every week, which is just outstanding. I want to thank everybody that follows us on social media. Of course, you can check the show out there on our Facebook page at Brews with Brian. The Twitter page, I think, is Brews W. Brian, and Instagram at Brews with Brian. On this week's show, I reviewed uh, KBS Espresso from Founders Brewing Company. Bourbon Barrel Age Like a Stout from Straight to Ale, and the Swamper from Sangin River Brewing Company. I want to give a shout out to Southern Package, uh, the craft beer shop that I buy all of my craft beer at in Sheffield, Alabama. So if you live in North Alabama uh, and can get to Sheffield, check them out. They'll treat you right. They're good people, very knowledgeable, just just wonderful, wonderful people. I can't put them over enough. But that's going to do it for this episode of Brews with Brian, and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.